boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Learn a Skill with me, where each week you have the opportunity to explore, experiment, have fun, and learn a new skill. I am your host, Malaika McIntosh, and today we'll be charting a course through the very exciting and creative world of graphic design, where you learn how to create your very own bookmark and flyer using Microsoft Word. To help us create and design, we have with us Mr. Mario Granger. Hi, Malaika. Thanks for having Hi. me. It's good to be here. Hi, kids. Great. Mr. Granger, can you tell us about what we'll need to get started today? All right, so for our design today, we're going to be doing a flyer and a bookmark. So what we're going to need is a laptop with Microsoft Word installed. All right, are you ready to get started? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get this thing rolling. All right, so in order to create the flyer in Microsoft Word, we first gonna have to open the Microsoft Word application, all right? So to do that, we're gonna go to the bottom left corner of the screen uh, where you will find the start button. Open up the start menu by clicking on that button and search for Microsoft Word, all right? So once the application has been clicked, we will select a blank document and then we will start working on our flyer. So, the first thing that we need to do is save this document so that if anything happens that it will not be lost, all our progress will be kept. We will rename our file to um, whatever we are deciding to do. So in this case, we are going to create a Christmas dessert seal. Alright, so we're going to type that in the file name. Next, we're going to select a location for our file so that when we close it off, if you want to come back to it, we know exactly where to go to find it. All right, so we are going to have to create a background. All right, so in this case, we're going to go to the design tab. We're going to click on page color, and then we're going to select red since we are looking at a Christmas themed flyer. Next, we have to have the right size for our design. So we're going to go to the layout tab we're going to go down to size and make sure that it's on letter size because most likely we're going to print this flyer on letter size paper. Next, we're going to adjust our margin. So we're going to click on margin, go down to custom margins, and we're going to set all sides to zero. So top, left, bottom, and the right are going to be set to zero. Now, let's get to the really fun part. We're going to start adding elements. Now, elements are basically titles, shapes, pictures, or any other objects that you are going to add to your design. So, to begin, we are going to start with a circle. So, we're going to go to the Insert tab. We're going to click on Shapes and select the Over. Then, we are going to draw our circle. Now, to make sure that the circles um, a perfect circle, we're going to have to go up to size and just make sure that the height and the width are exactly the same. So we're going to go with 4 inches. Now we'll move it to where we want it to be. And just to make sure that it's aligned properly, we're going to go to align and click on align center. So right now, it's directly in the middle of our page. Now let's add something pretty to our shape, alright? Since it's a Christmas seal, how about a Christmas tree? So now we're going to go to Shape Fill, click on Picture, select from a file, and go to where the location of your pictures are and select the picture that you want to use. So let's just select the Christmas tree. Nice. Now we are going to Picture Format, across to Crop, and click on Fill. So now we can actually adjust how our picture fits into the shape that we added. So we just adjust as needed. All right, that looks perfect to me. Now let's go back to shape format and let's try adding a shape outline. 
So this means that we're going to be adding an outline, like a drawing of a line around our shape to give it a bit of a boost. We're going to adjust the weight and then we're going to choose a nice little shape effect called bevel and we're going to use a round bevel. Next we're going to add a glow. Now there are different variations of glows you could choose. So we're going to go with a green glow since our outline is also green. So how about we add a title for our sale? Alright, so now we're going to go to insert, go down to draw text box, and then when our text box is drawn, we're going to type in the text that we want to add. So we're going to type Christmas dessert seal. Now this is a bit small, so let's format our text to our liking. So we're going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to add some color to it and make it a little more vibrant, all right? So let's align it to the center of the text box. Let's resize it a bit. So let's look at what the sizes look like so that we'll be sure if it's the size that we want to go with. Now we're going to go to the font styles. And we're going to go down to a decent style that looks a bit Christmassy because we want it to be very festive. All right, so this looks like a good one. But what about how our text is going to look? Are we going to give it an outline? I think that's a good idea. So, hmm, maybe a green outline will be good for this one since we already have a green outline on our shape and we're going to select the text again and we're going to choose a color fill for our text so we go to the text color and we're going to go with white now the text box is also white so we're going to have to do something about that all right so we're going back to shape format we're going to go to shape outline select no outline. Then go to shape fill. We're going to go with no fill. So now we have our text box, but there is no color, there is no outline. All we can see now is our text. So let's zoom out a little bit so you'll get a full picture of what we're looking at. Now let's align our text box. We go to align, click on align center. So now it's in the middle of our flyer. Now people are going to want to know what kind of dessert you're selling. All right, so let's show them. So we go to insert, click on shapes. We're going to go with a rounded rectangle. Now let's draw our rounded rectangle. Now we're going to have to do a bit of formatting with this shape to get it to look the way we want it to look, all right? So first, let's make sure that the height and the width of our drawing is exactly the same. All right, so one inch in height and width is fine, so we have a perfect square. Now we're gonna turn it and adjust it to a diamond shape, all right? So we're just adjusting the angle. Then we're gonna press Control and C, and then Control V three times. So now we have four copies of that shape. Now we're gonna fill each of our shapes with the pictures of items for our seal. So our first item would be the chocolates, all right? So we're gonna add that picture in there. We go back to shape fill again, we select picture from a file, select our second picture. So we're going to be doing this for all our images. Now we're going to add, a, we're going to add some outlines to these images, just to spice it up a little bit make it look a little more festive because remember it's a Christmas dessert seal so your flyer has to look Christmassy alright so we're just gonna go to shape outline 
select a color, select a weight, and go to shape effects, down to glow, and choose a glow. We're going to go with a green glow for this one. Or maybe yellow would work instead. So we can interchange it. The items that we have on sale are glowing, so it's attractive. I'm sure everyone wants to buy some of these items we're selling. Now, now we're going to click on our first text box. All right, we're going to do Control C to copy and Control V to paste. So instead of drawing a whole new text box, we could just copy the one that we have and edit it. And now we're going to label each of the items. So our first item is chocolate. So we're going to type chocolate in place of Christmas dessert seal right there. We are going to select the text, resize it, drag it to the position where we'd like it to be. Next, we're going to select that text box, Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V three times to make three copies. And we're going to drag each of these text boxes to our other items. Now they all say chocolate, but that's fine. Let's just get them in place. And then we could always change them to the particular item that they represent. So kids, with graphic design, there's a lot of fine details that you have to look out for. All right, you have to pay very close attention, make good use of your eyes. So if you have to zoom in, do that. If you have to come a bit closer to your screen, you could do that, but make sure your stuff is aligned correctly. So we'll replace chocolate with ice cream for the second one, add cake to the third one, and cookies for our fourth. Now we're going to add some more text because every event needs a date. So we have to add another text box. So we are going to copy one of the text boxes that we already have by pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. How about some more text? All right, so we're gonna copy and paste that text box. In case, you know, people wanna place orders and so on, let's type in our phone number so that we can be contacted. Let's try adding a border. So we go to design, click on page borders, select a page border design that we like, and then click OK. Our border is kind of cutting off our first picture, so we're gonna to want to select that picture and drag it down just a little bit so that it's not touching the border. Now, to finish off, we want to add some snowflake. So let's go to shapes in the insert tab and let's select a six point star. And we're gonna draw our shape. We're gonna go to shape fill, select the color white and shape outline is also going to be white. For our shape effect, we're going to use a green glue. Now we are going to copy the shape so that we could add a couple more snowflakes. Now we're gonna do something called repositioning where we'll be moving each snowflake to a different position on our flyer to give the effect of snowflakes falling. Look at our flyer guys, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, isn't it? Now to finalize our flyer, we're going to click save, go to save as, and we're going to select a location for this. We are going to select the desktop in this case, and instead of saving as a Word document, let's save it as a PDF, because this is our final version.
Now let's look at creating a bookmark. So a bookmark is basically what we use to save the pages when we are reading. So we're going to go to file, select new, choose a new blank document. Then we're going to save this document. Select a location and a name and then we're going to choose a layout that works best for our bookmark. So we're going to go to margins, go down to custom margins. We're going to set all the margin sides to zero. Now we're going to go to orientation, select landscape, which is going to turn our page on its side and then go to size, make sure that we have a letter size P. So now we're going to insert a shape. We're going to go with a rectangle. Let's draw a rectangle on our page. Now we don't want it to be too wide. Now we're going to select that shape, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V three times so that we have three copies of our first image. We're going to spread them out a little bit across the page. Make sure there's a bit of space in between. All right, so now we want to distribute them evenly. So we're going to press Ctrl, click on each shape and then go to Align and distribute horizontally. And we're going to align each one to the middle. So by clicking on the shape, we're going to go to align and click on align middle. So now we're going to click on our first shape. We're going to go to shape outline and we're going to select a nice outline. All right. So the theme for our bookmarks is frozen. So we're going to use some frozen colors. So let's go with blue. Let's choose a width for our outline and now let's add a picture to our shape. So this is the picture that we're going to see on our bookmark. So let's go to shape fill, click on picture from a file. Let's go to the folder or location that our image for our bookmark is in and we're going to select our picture. All right. So we just want Elsa for this one. All right. We're going to cut Anna out. So we're going to go to picture format, crop fill, and now we can adjust our image to get it in place. Resize if we have to. Just click and drag. Get it to where you want it to be until you're satisfied. All right. So let's just adjust. Um, I think this looks pretty good right there. Let's move it in just a bit more so she isn't cut out too much. All right. This looks good. So we're going to click outside of our shape and there we have our first bookmark created. Now we're going to follow this process for the other four, for the other three. We're going to do Anna this time. All right, so I think Christoph looks good right there in that position. So now let's move to our fourth and final bookmark. So now we're going to do Olaf, everyone's favorite, the funny guy. So we've had some practice here. We haven't created just one bookmark, but four. So we're making use of our page. So when we print it out, we're not wasting paper. Okay, kids? Then we will go up to save. Click on save as browse, select our location for where we want this to be saved, select the file format which will be PDF just like our flyer and hit save. So here is how our bookmarks will look. So when we print them we just have to get a nice pair of scissors and cut them out. Wow, I really enjoyed learning how to create a bookmark and a flyer, and I can't wait to get started on my very own. Mr. Granger, do you think you can go over the steps for us once again? Sure. So, open Microsoft Word, create and edit your design, and finalize by saving. Remember boys and girls, you can find detailed steps for this activity in our video description below. Mr. Granger, can you tell us about some of the careers that boys and girls can look forward to in graphic design? Of course. So in the field of graphic design, there are lots of careers that we can explore. You can become a graphic designer, 
where you'll be able to create company logos and ads or even design one of those really cool billboards that you see on the road. But you can't start designing now. You can create your own birthday party invitations or even a flyer for mommy's barbecue at home. Another field you could get into is to become a web page designer where you can assist with the creation of websites by building awesome web pages for site viewers. Wow! So boys and girls, there are lots of cool and creative careers that you can tap into in your future. We want to say thanks to Mr. Granger for joining us today and showing us all of these awesome tips for creating our very own flyers and bookmarks. Thank you for having me. It was indeed a pleasure being here and working with you kids. Wonderful. So boys and girls, that's all the time that we have for today. Now remember to have mom and dad take a photo of your bookmark or flyer and send it to us via our social media pages. Until we see you next week on another episode of Learn a Skill with Me. Bye-bye. Bye. Happy designing.